tell I haven't been in public for a couple days. <laughs> oh, I'm about to take a shower. Um, did I take one of those yesterday? I don't think I did. I was here alone, so by the time uh, 7 p.m. bedtime rolled around for Harlow, I was exhausted and I was like, I'm done. We're done, and I got in bed. So I'm gonna take a shower. We're gonna sit down and get ready for the day. I thought I would just put some makeup on today. It's been like a week, I think, since I put makeup on. So I wanted to do my hair, do my makeup, just be ready, because when Nick is home, sometimes he'll just be like, hey, do you wanna go out and do this, this, and this? And I'm just like wishing that I had put the time and effort into getting ready in the beginning of the day. So that's gonna be today. I'm gonna put some makeup on um, and go take a shower, because honestly, I do not smell great. These are some new things that have come in the mail recently. This is not back here, obviously. Hello. Um, but some of this just recently came in the mail. So maybe I'll use some of this. I'm doing a really, is this is? Maybe I'll use some of this. I'm doing a really simple makeup look, like nothing too crazy. So I don't know if I'm going to use any of this, but hey, that's cool. It'd be cool if the sun would make an appearance so that we had a reason to use it. What's that, Diana? Is that Timmy? Timmy's eating in salad. <laughs> Cocktail themed makeup. Now that is what I'm talking about. Okay, that might that might be a winner. These are cute. For daytime, I think I'm gonna go with this one though. I don't need anything too, too crazy. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm trying something new today. I'm on my vlog camera, but it shoots 4K. So I just wanted to see how this would look, but I don't know how the sound is going to be. So if it sucks, I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. Once I edit this, I'll know. But um, I'm gonna put one little microphone thing that I have to put on top and see. You're also gonna hear a very relaxing water trickle. That is the fountain from inside my bullfrog's enclosure. My bullfrog is in my office right now. Because if you've been watching some of the other videos, we are, well, actually most of, well, on my animal channel, if you saw me move all my animals out of my animal room, they have been moved into a smaller room. So if you, if you want to hear the whole explanation on that, um, it's over there, which I'll link you to below, but let me plug a mic in and then we'll come back and then we will finally get started. Focus. Hello. All right. There we are. Shit. Where's my water? Oh, it's okay. Very excited for the day that I have a studio that's just set up and all I have to do is sit down and hit play. I was in a very good mood today and I still am in a very good mood today and I was like, you know what, I feel like filming a video, I feel like chatting, let's do it. So I thought we would just put some makeup on and uh, simple makeup and go through some Q&A questions. It sounds like you guys have some questions. I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of questions, so we can just dive right in. If you if you missed the announcement, I am pregnant right now, so um, I am um, probably going to be answering a lot of pregnancy questions. We'll see what's in here. Um, I guess we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to be listing everything that I use in the description box, but this is um, like a, whoa, that's way too much. Holy heck. This is like an illuminating um, highlighter. Someone asked, are you wanting one gender over the other? Um, no, honestly, <laughs> I could really care less. I just want a healthy baby. Um, if it's a girl, then I mean, I already know the gender, <laughs> but if it's a girl, then it would be awesome because Harlow will have a sister super close in age and if it's a boy we have one of each so if we wanted to stop we I feel like we could for us um I don't think I want to stop it too but we'll see how it goes that's cute um so yeah I don't really I don't really have a preference honestly there's pros and cons to both I guess and not con necessarily but like if it is a boy then I feel like I'm gonna have to have another one pretty soon after because I really would like Harlow to have like a sister close in age and if it's a girl I feel like I'm gonna have to have another one anyway because I really want a boy as well so I don't know I have to comment on this this primer okay so this is J from Jason Wu super affordable brand you can get it like Target and stuff and it says I kept the packaging well I thought I did it says that it's 
anti-aging, minimizes pores, does um, sebum control, and like basically it does like 17 things in one. So if it, in fact it does do all of that, then it's pretty awesome. This feels very, very lightweight too, like almost like a water uh, cream, which feels really nice. I am also in between doing um, tanning. So I'm trying to get off my current like tan that I have going on and I'm going to redo it soon, but I haven't yet. So the stuff I'm about to put on my face is probably too dark for me. I'm aware I will have to wear like a turtleneck or something. What is your favorite parenting hack? Honestly, I don't really have a parenting hack yet. I just am still like too new to this, I feel like, to really like have any parenting hacks. But something that I did just buy that is extremely useful and I haven't been able to use it myself yet, but Nick is like obsessed with it. It's called the Tush Baby little, you strap it around your waist basically, and I will put a couple pictures on screen. You strap around your waist and it gives you a seat for your baby to sit. And they pretty much like, obviously you shouldn't leave them with no hands and like, you should have an arm wrapped around them at all times. But if you like went like like Nick this morning, like put his hands like this, he's like, obviously I would never like leave her without a hand on her back, but like she's sitting here all by herself. Per the advice of other parents and friends at Nick's work, um, we have given her her very own like cupboard or drawer or whatever in the kitchen where she is able to get into and it's one that is not locked and she's able to kind of get in there, pull everything out, put everything back, whatever she feels like doing, it's hers. And I feel like that's a good little hack because kids always wanna do what you're doing. And so if you give them the opportunity to have like their own little space in like mommy and daddy's kitchen, I feel like they're all about it. I think I'm gonna get more hacks like as she gets older though. So if you have any good hacks, like leave them below because I need them. Why did you let Arctic Fox go? So first of all, it was not really my choice. Um, when there are multiple business partners involved, it's not necessarily your choice alone. There are votes um, that go on and um, it was out of my control. However, I will say that I wasn't really ready to step away, but I also was at the same time. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense, but um, I pretty sure the stress from that whole situation was one of the reasons I had a miscarriage. Um, how do I get this off? There's like the plastic thing in the... So anyways, um, long story short, uh, it wasn't really necessarily up to me. So um, thank you for saying that. I know a lot of you had said, have said that like, um, that you miss me being involved and whatever, and I really appreciate that. I am thinking about starting something new. I just don't know what. I feel like right now is a really bad time to be starting a new business. So I'm kind of letting that just chill on the back burner. But um, yeah, long story short, it wasn't really necessarily my choice to sell. But I will say also that typically when you create a business, your main goal is usually to mature and grow that business and then sell it. That's where you make your money for the most part, like your big money um, that you go on to do other things with or invest with or whatever it is that you're gonna do. Uh, because a lot of times when you own a business, you're not really taking any money out for a very, very long time. Um, as like your own paycheck or whatever, a lot of the money just continues to go back into the company. So a lot of people, their end goal is to, you know, grow a company to a certain revenue and then they end up selling it. And that's kind of, um, that's kind of every, I shouldn't, I'm not, I'm trying not to speak for everybody, but that's a lot of people's goal when they create a business. This is a really good question because I feel like everyone struggles with this. Someone said, how do you handle mom guilt? I have some lazy days and feel bad not interacting. Um, so I actually feel this too. Like I, I for instance, yesterday I felt it. Um, I see how Nick is with Harlow in the morning and I just honestly need some freaking time to wake up or I wanna catch up on a TV show. And 
I feel bad, um, you know, not being super present, kind of just letting her do her own thing. So what I told myself yesterday, I was like, she was doing something with like boxes or playing by herself. And I was like, this is actually a really good thing that she is able to go off and like play on her own. So I was looking at it that way. And I was like, this is actually a really positive thing that she is exploring other toys and figuring things out for herself and keeping herself company and keeping herself busy. So that's one way I looked at that um, because I don't want my child to be reliant on my attention only. And obviously that's only very one very small piece of the pie. But um, so yesterday I was kind of looking at it like that. And then, you know, when I do spend time with her, it is very quality time. However, I also have a life of my own separate from being a mom that I refuse to say goodbye to. So just knowing that you are doing your best and you're allowed to have days off too is totally fine. Your child, I don't know how old your child is, the person who asked this, but like my daughter's not gonna remember anything from now till she's like probably four. So yes, I think certain things that you do shape their personality and help them develop. She's not going to remember, you know, um, Sunday, April 3rd, where mom was not like present that day because I was just kind of like doing my own thing. So give yourself some grace. You are allowed to do your own thing and keep your child busy doing something else or maybe you're hungover or something like you're allowed that. Like, so I just try not to get too wrapped up with that because I know that I do so much with her and for her. And when we do spend time together, we're able to have that like super close, like one-on-one -on -one, um, and it just is very meaningful. Someone asked um, what prenatal vitamins I'm taking. Are they different um, since my miscarriage and what brand? I actually uh, suck at influencing. I don't remember the brand. I want to say that it's called Mama Bird, but I'll put it on the screen and I'll also link it for you guys below. I have it on a subscription on Amazon, which is really nice. My camera died. Um, actually didn't die, it got too hot. So I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. I was talking about prenatal vitamins. <clears throat> for lack of better terminology and knowledge on the subject in general, this one had um, higher amounts and whatnot of like the good shit in prenatal vitamins. So I went with this one over others and I took quite a while looking through the ones that I like possible vitamins and I landed on this one. I really liked that I could do it on Amazon to subscribe and stuff because with my brain, I have like mom brain and pregnancy brain. It's pretty gnarly. Um, I was like I'm definitely not gonna remember to order more of these so I just am on the subscribe like the subscription thing and if you hear uh tapping and whatnot in the background my tortoise is really determined to get out of his cage right now so he's down here on the floor and um he wants to get out so he's very noisy favorite foundation for combo skin so I've been staying away from foundation lately. Like what I put on today is the Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing, Diffusing Tint. <laughs> so I've been actually wearing a lot of skin tints and whatnot. So that's kind of what I've been loving and I have combo skin. So that is one I really, really like. Another one that I really like is the It Cosmetics. CC cream ones. These are great and they have skincare built into them. They also have SPF 40. Really, really, really love those. It Cosmetics used to have me on their PR list and I guess they took me off of it at some point because I don't get any of their products anymore, which is really sad. So I have to buy them like everybody else, which is fine, but who doesn't love free products? A lot of questions about how many kids do we want and was this child planned? So, um, before we had Harlow, we kind of talked about it and we we're like, Hey, like, when do you want to start trying for baby number two? We definitely knew that we didn't want to only have one child. It's just Nick was an only child because his mother had MS, unfortunately, and they wanted to have more, but they, they couldn't. So 
we talked about it right off the bat and we were like, hey, like when do you wanna like start trying for like another? So initially we thought we were gonna start trying at about six months. And then I had not, I didn't have any help in place at that point. And my husband's gone for 24 hour to 96 hour shifts at work sometimes. So I was very overwhelmed, got help. And then I think, gosh, at about, was it seven months? that I got pregnant when she was like seven months. So it's not like we were trying, but we weren't not trying. So that's kind of, that's kind of the deal there. So, and as far as how many kids we want to have, some of you will remember me talking about in my um, previous videos when I was pregnant with Harlow, talking about wanting to have like four kids. Um, now I say four with a possible fifth. I don't know. Um, I really love the idea of like a large family, like hanging out with my parents now. I just like, really really like the idea of a very large family so i mean i think having like i almost said six having like four kids i think would be really cool um but we'll just have to have to see how it goes i feel like how your children are like your first couple or your first child really shapes and like makes you have like that moment where you're like no thanks i only want one like i have a friend who wanted to have more kids and now she's like after her first one she had a really difficult time with that baby and she was like honestly i only want one like we're done like one and done so i can totally see that where <laughs> that side of the coin where people are just like yeah yeah i wanted a bunch now camera died because of the battery <laughs> my brain would be a very very messy place to live is what i was saying i think i'm gonna do some faux freckles today you guys have been talking about this in some of my pictures so i think i'm gonna wear my hair down today too so i'm gonna take this out so the kinkage can stop oh boy <laughs> this is like okay so i've only used a couple products for freckles because i used to despise freckles and then i changed my mind and now i like them so um we're human we can do that we're allowed to change our minds so uh this is called jason the freckled boy this is also by jason Wu and i just love this stuff i put on like usually about that many i let it chill for a second and then i just pick this up like i tap it and pick it up and just kind of move it around and it leaves like these just really like natural looking freckles i love it a lot of questions about are you worried about having two kids are you worried about balancing everything with your reptiles and everything um uh, yes, I am, but I also feel very good knowing that I have help. I have um, a nanny for Harlow, and eventually Harlow, oh, that's a big one, Harlow will be going to preschool and, you know, experiencing that, and so I also, um, you know, tell myself that it's temporary. Like everything comes in stages and, okay, I got a little crazy with a couple of these. This one accidentally turned into two. I actually have a freckle right there, but it kind of turned into a really big one. Whoops. You can be as uh, liberal with this as you want, but I think it works really well. And if you want them darker, you can let it sit on there longer. Um, so yeah, I am nervous. It's gonna be pretty overwhelming actually, I think on days when, um, Nick is at work like if he's at work all weekend and I don't have any help so I've actually been considering hiring help on the weekends as well because I just am really nervous about that because I'm thinking okay if I'm sitting there breastfeeding my two-month-old Nick is back at work and Harlow's running around she's gonna be 15 months when the baby's born she's running around like getting into stuff or like having a tantrum or like I, what am I gonna do if I'm just sitting there breastfeeding so and she hates being in um, any sort of like little like play area like i i got one i borrowed one from a friend and like we put toys in it we put all the stuff in it she does not want to be in that she wants to be in the action she wants to be with you like i don't know but like my, i remember my little sister getting put in one of those and she did really well she just like played and hung out and like harlow is just like she has to see everything that's going on like she has to like be a part of it and um putting her in one of those just doesn't work. Like putting her in that while I go do something is not something that I can do, unfortunately, unless I just wanna hear her scream. So I am really nervous about that. Um, it's going to be overwhelming at times. 
And I'm just gonna have to get on my Facebook mom group that I created. The camera got too hot and shut off again. This is really getting annoying for me. So maybe we do need to switch back to the other one. Um, ooh, no, that's, that's not the right color. <laughs> this is also not the right color. I'm gonna have to get a different color when I get up or make this work somehow. Um, uh, something about if I'm nervous for the second. So yeah, I was kind of considering getting some weekend help for those, even if it's just like help just organizing the house or grocery shopping or I don't know. We'll see. I have to see if it's in the budget. Um, but uh, I am lucky to have help and I have Laura who is our nanny now and I'm so I, I I feel good going into having a baby knowing that I have her help because I did not have that with Harlow and I felt very very overwhelmed that first seven months um it's a lot it's a lot of work having kids is a lot of work and I believe that they are meant to be raised by a village of women that's why our periods sink I believe in all that stuff so my uh, mom group on Facebook has been very nice to vent to, to, you can also do it anonymously if you want to, um, but there's no judgment there. So that's been really great. Um, because my camera keeps shutting off, I'm going to wrap this up. Are you over those nose rings yet? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> I actually just bought some that don't have this ball on them. I've had these ones in since I was like 17 years old. I have not taken them out of my nose a single time, not for surgery, not for anything. So I'm gonna actually replace these soon and I got some rose gold ones. So I'm gonna put those in and get rid of these. But yeah, no, I don't think I'll ever take these out. Why? Because I like them, first of all. Second of all, um, the hole in my nose, I don't really want to be super apparent. So I'd rather keep it plugged up with a piercing. So um, let me see if I, wanted to hit on anything else someone asked me like how i'm doing like really like how am i doing uh and <clears throat> i'm doing really good i think that there's definitely days that i'm not doing so great um it really depends on my state of mind sometimes a bunch of annoying things happen in the morning and i'm immediately like annoyed for the rest of the day even though i try not to be but um I am pretty not stoked on my work setup in my house. I feel like I don't have enough space for the things that I'd like to do, which is filming um, everything I'm doing here right now with you guys and my animals. So our house is very cramped. However, building a barn is gonna cost close to half a million dollars. So I don't see that happening anytime soon. So I'm trying to like work with what I have. Um, it's just frustrating with how many accomplishments I've made in my life so far. You'd think that I could just have everything that I needed, <laughs> but um, it doesn't always work like that. So I am trying to make the best of what, what I've got and um, and I just am so excited for that day when I can have my barn and my ADU out back and I can just go out there and film and everything's set up and I don't have to put a backdrop up every time and whatever, but like first world problems, I'm doing good. Um, there are days that like are shittier than others where I just don't feel super great. I get in really good moods when Nick is home. Nick is home today. So I'm gonna go hang out with him and he's probably not gonna kiss me now that I have lipstick on, but actually I'm kind of liking this lip color for this look. It's It's definitely different. But um, yeah, thanks for submitting questions, guys. If I didn't answer your question, I'm super sorry. This camera's been real annoying, shutting off and whatnot. So I feel like this video is also already about 2,700 minutes. So <laughs> I'm gonna sign off. But if you have any other questions, leave them below and I will answer them um, as I'm responding to comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and I did wanna throw one other thing at you. I did um, talk about this on my Instagram stories but I was considering, someone is vacuuming. <laughs> I was considering um, doing some murder mystery videos where I sit and talk to you guys and tell the story. The reason why is not because there's not a ton of it out there on YouTube already, but there are only certain people I have found that I like to listen to do those. One of them is Bella Fiore. I love hers. I watched somebody else yesterday that I couldn't stand. Like everything was like, so PC and like just making sure they weren't hurting someone's feelings. Like, let, okay, let's look about it. Uh, let's look at it from this angle and that angle. And like, it was just overpowering, like to where I was just like, for some reason my camera shut off again. <laughs> I'm about to chuck this.
f***ing camera out the window, dude. I'm like getting so irritated. You know how annoying it is when you're like on a roll trying to just film and like do your thing and your camera shuts off over and over and over again and you have to like pull it off the tripod and get the battery out and then put the little thing back on and zoom it back in. Like, oh my gosh, I just... I need my barn so bad, y'all. So basically, there's a lot of people out there doing it that I just don't really enjoy listening to. Um, Bella Fiore is super awesome. I love hers. Her accent really just makes everything so much better. But anyways, if you guys are down for that, um, then leave a little knife emoji in the comments below. I saw you guys all that left the little pig emoji on that other video. I loved that. So if you're still here and you're down for that, then leave a little knife emoji. Um, and thanks for watching guys. We will uh, catch up with you in another video. Bye.